Hey, what's up guys? John Rettinger here and I want to give you a demonstration of Google's Chrome browser for Mac. People that have PCs love Chrome. They rave about how quick it is, ease of use, and I certainly agree. I've used it quite a bit on the PCs and I'm a big fan. And finally, it is coming for Mac. I should say though that this is not an official beta or release candidate. This was just a build that was seeded only to developers. It is not feature complete and is a little bit buggy and quirky, which is why this isn't a review just an overview. This more shows a working proof of concept of Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And those of you that are familiar with Google Chrome will notice that it gives you your most watched tabs right across the top. So let's go ahead and see how quickly it loads a web page. Let's go to uh, my YouTube channel for example. You can see it loads up nice and quickly but no flash. Unfortunately, and as I'll show you in a minute, this version of Chrome has a very hard time handling downloads and certainly can't recognize Flash quite yet. But you did see that it loaded very quickly. Let me open up Firefox, my primary browser, and give you some comparison. So we'll place in the same website. You can see it loaded. Hey, what's up, guys? Turn that down. Possibly even a little bit slower, but just as fast. Chrome is quite quick. If you go to a site, one of my favorites, Hulu.com, pick a clip, it tells you that Flash Player is required, please continue, so we'll go ahead and pretend like we want to download this and we'll agree and install, and it chokes on download, if your download doesn't start, click here, you can click here, it just won't download, it's evidently not feature complete yet obviously, just wanted to show you guys that if you do plan on finding a version of Chrome out there that's in I suppose developer alpha, it's not going to be good enough for you to use as your primary browser. Just a friendly heads up. So you've got your tab browser on top, the things people are used to with Chrome. Pull up as many as you'd like. And it's pretty quick and there's a little bit of animation that shows up there. So let me show you some of the Chrome preferences that you'll get when this browser comes out. We'll go to Chrome, open up preferences. And here we go. It's relatively simple as Chrome is known to be. So on startup, you can open the home page, restore the pages that were open last, open the following pages. You can use the tab page, open this page, control your toolbar. So show the home button on the toolbar, we'll add that. And show page and option menu on the toolbar, we'll go ahead and add that too. And you can go ahead and make Chrome your default browser. Not quite ready to do that yet. User data, you can ask it about your passwords, autofill. You can import bookmarks, clear your data. You can even choose themes. I'm not entirely sure what this does yet. So right now it's the blue. We can go ahead and pick different colors. Let's pick red and see if that does anything. And under the hood, there's nothing there yet. So we'll close out. Nothing really changed color-wise. It's still gray, but I assume you'll be able to pick a custom theme and put it right into Chrome. And they do have Google search right on your homepage. So we do have, let's go ahead and actually close the browser and open it back up and see if any of the preferences that we put in place are there. So we wanted to put the home button on the taskbar here and it didn't show up. So there are a lot of quirks with this browser. But I just wanted to show you guys and let you know that if you are a fan of Chrome or if you're jealous of your friend's Chrome on their PC, it is coming to your Mac. And this is one of those things that I'm very happy to see. When I first switched over to Mac uh, about two and a half years ago, I was worried that maybe there wasn't going to be all the software that I wanted on Mac. That's a very common misconception that goes about there. And I can very happily say that any software you want for Mac, there is, or want for PC rather, there is a Mac equivalent. And it's just nice to know that Chrome is another instance of that coming for Mac. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.